It's one of those things that must have seemed like a good idea at the time. Well, well friends, can I say it is great to be here. Carve half a dozen pledges on a piece of stone and have a photo call. With ideas like this, the trouble comes when nobody tells you it's a bad idea until you've done it. Serious grown adults sat in meetings and approved this thing. You can see the thinking behind it, and the thinking behind it was incredibly stupid. It was, people don't believe us, so we're going to carve them on stone and then people will believe us. And as bad ideas go, it was an expensive one. Standing over eight feet tall and with all those promises carved into it, the Edstone cost £7,614 to make. That sum, among more than £120,000 of payments, missing from Labour's 2015 election expenses return. And that has now cost the party a record £20,000 fine from the Electoral Commission, almost three times the price of the stone itself. And this museum curator wanted the Edstone to stand alongside his other prized political artefacts, like Michael Foote's donkey jacket and Harold Wilson's pipe. He was told no. This was a moment when the Labour Party wanted to appear solid, grounded, that they were serious, and clearly they hadn't quite projected that to the public widely, and the stone was a symbol of perhaps that failure to project that, that message. I want the British people to be in no doubt. Ed Miliband didn't win, the stone's never been seen since, and for fans of things that seemed like good ideas at the time, a shame indeed. Damon Green, News at 10.